Hi everyone, Troy Martin, TM Fitness. Just going to show you a little bit about the kettlebell and how to grip it and how to hold it in the rack position. So obviously the first, first thing you need to do is to clean it up into that rack position. Then you swing the kettlebell and you clean it up. Okay, so you clean it up and then you're in that rack position. So you want the, the arm against your rib cage. You can just rest the elbow on the uh, crest of your pelvis here. And the idea is to try and relax the forearm, so the muscles through here as much as possible. It's quite tight. You should be able to switch it off as best you can. Uh, and you can just rest in this position. So with the kettlebell rested against your body, your elbow rested against your, your pelvis. This is kind of like, like the safest position here when you're resting in between sets if you're not setting the kettlebell down or should I say in between reps rather. Now, as far as the grip is concerned on the kettlebell, a lot of people get this wrong. You should be able to not grip it tightly. So you should be able to relax your fingers and the kettlebell just rest in against the thumb there. And you can see the angle. So it's against the, uh, the soft pad, the uh, heel of your palm, if you like, at an angle. So you don't have the kettlebell up here against the... Uh, your metacarpal heads you have it at an angle across there and then the weight of the kettlebell is taken in between your first finger and your thumb and down into the uh, into the elbow or into the crest of your your pelvis there so as i say you should be able to relax the hand relax the fingers and relax the forearm in that position if you're gripping the kettlebell too tight while you're exercising when you're pressing swinging uh, cleaning etc or on the snatch even you're going to tear those uh, those calluses so you're going to tear the, the hard skin patches across here uh, and it's also going to lead the kettlebell to to slam against the forearm when you're cleaning or snatching so you want to be able to relax the hand and allow it to slide in around the handle of the kettlebell okay so with a with a heavy uh, tight grip kind of slams it it comes up and it slams over into you and that's not a good place to have it when you're cleaning the kettlebell relax the grip so as you as you initiate the first part of the swing you pull the shoulder relax the fingers allow the kettlebell to slot in into here and then just wrap the arm in uh, so this is really important getting that that grip right that's the grip and the positioning of the handle that you would hold the kettlebell in for pretty much every kettlebell exercise whether it's a turkish get up it's a clean snatch overhead press whatever okay so clean and you see how much smoother that was how there was less impact there and as i say fingers are loose forearms as loose as it can be elbows rested on top of the pelvis there okay ladies.